All right, and now we're going to derive the transition probability of uh, this birth and death process. And first, I want to make two remarks. Um, it's very, it's very similar. Uh, this birth and death process is very similar to the time reversible Markov chain we learned earlier. The underlying, the underlying discrete. Uh, markup chain of this continuous uh, markup chain can only go up by one or decrease uh, or go down by one. Um, can only go up by one or down by one in terms of uh, state, okay? Uh, which makes it uh, a candidate of. Uh, um, Time reversible markup chain, and uh, um, the second one is um, we see that. So let's recall um, from state zero. Uh, if we're at state zero, we can only go up by one. It means uh, when there is uh, no customer in the queue, so the next transition, we must uh, uh, have one customer. Uh, the customer number cannot go negative. And now uh, let's recall a, um, a setup for the uh, continuous market chain, which is capital TI. Uh, we use capital TI to represent uh, the time. So the time. Um, that this uh, continuous time markup chain uh, stays in state i before uh, transition to another state. Okay, and we um, assume this one is uh, exponentially distributed with rate bi, and this basically this bi is the rate of uh, this market chain uh, that's leaving uh, state i. Okay, and now we want to derive uh, the transition probabilities. First, we have a p zero one. Uh, that is uh, it's guaranteed to be 1. It means uh, when we are at state 0, uh, the next transition must be a uh, transition to the state 1. And now we are curious of uh, uh, these two numbers, which is from state n. What's the probability of uh, the population, or say the uh, the number of individuals in the system go up by one or go down by one. All right, and now let's look at uh, um, let's try to interpret this using uh, like a, a layman language. Uh, this n right here it means we have n individual in the system, and n plus one means uh, um, we have uh, n plus one individual in the system. This simply means we currently we have. Uh, an individual in the system, okay, so given an individual in the system and n plus 1 means um, the next state change is a birth, okay, so um, next state change Is a birth. Let me first erase this. Um, what does that mean by next day's change of the birth? Is let's look back at uh, the setting. We have two individual. Um, this is like a, a Python process. 
this is another Poisson process, but uh, it's like a decreasing uh, Poisson process. So these two are, are independent, which means if we would like our next state change at the birth, we want to um, the uh, arrival comes before departure. Okay, and given an individual in the system. Okay, so now what happens is. Uh, if its arrival comes before departure, it simply means uh, our arrival time is less than this departure time, and given this n individual. n individuals in the system. Okay. And keep this in mind when they have an, uh, when we have an individual in the system, um, this simply says um, x. When we have an individual in the system, this simply says x is exponentially distributed with rate uh, lambda n, and y is exponentially distributed with rate mu n, which changes to a multi. Um, so basically, a, a multivariate probability question. We simply want to find. Uh, we we simply we take this integration, which is x uh, is less than y, and uh, and f x y of little x y. This is simply the joint uh, PDF of x and y. We have this, and we convert um, this n individual system. This condition. Uh, Kind of, we kind of encode this information in this PDF because uh, it's simply a lambda n and mu n. As a result, uh, we have. And by the way, we can simply use their independency. We can split this into two, and if we compute. This becomes uh, so x is uh, rate lambda n. So what we have here um, is going to be uh, lambda n e to the lambda n uh, minus x, and y is uh, mu n. Times e to the minus mu n y dx dy, and keep this in mind. Uh, these two only valid for x is greater than uh, zero and y is greater than or equal to zero. So we have to intersect uh, the set of x is greater than or equal to zero and the y is greater than or equal to zero. So uh, now this uh, integral can be then uh, rewritten as an uh, iterated. Integral, for example, uh, y is from uh, zero to infinity, and x, because x is less than y, so x is uh, from uh, zero uh, to y, and this is lambda n uh, times mu n, and this is e to the minus lambda x, and because um, the inner integral is uh, about the x, so we can pull out um, this e to the minus. Uh, mu y and this is dy. So here I'll uh, give you guys the answer. Um, once we've integrated this iterated integral, we uh, we reach this is just lambda n divided by lambda n plus uh, mu n. Similarly, we can compute p n to uh, n to n minus one. This transition probability and this is a uh, uh, the probability of um, this is a departure uh, comes before arrival, and given there are n individuals uh, in the system, 
as a result, um, this is um, departure before arrival, so it's y is less than x, and given there are in, in, in individuals in the system. So very similarly, we just uh, repeat this iterated integral um, as before, as previous when we derived the other transition probability, we'll find this is nothing but mu n divided by uh, lambda n plus mu n. Okay. And last, we would like to ask the question of what is the distribution of ti, which is uh, um, the time um, until uh, next transition. Uh, no matter this transition is arrival or departure, and uh, we're curious of uh, this. And Ti, let's re recall that Ti is uh, is how often how often this uh, um, is the time that uh, this continuous mark. Markov chain stays in the state i, and then it's um, this rate is how often um, this Markov chain leaves this state i, and we simply we can uh, notice one fact, okay, that is the rate of individuals that. Uh, Um, fine in the system there are n individuals already in the system is the same as the rate of individuals that uh, find in the system, and this is uh, the first one is uh, when uh, when they arrive. The second one is uh, when they leave. All right. This is because. Uh, when there is a change, so we, we use a uh, time reversible markup chain argument. This is simply because uh, between two changes of n to n plus 1, there has to be one change of uh, n to n minus 1. Um, we'll say uh, m, sorry, m plus 1 to n. Okay. Um, which means the rate at uh, which of um, this uh, the state goes up and goes down. So together, when they add up and vice versa, and this means when they add up, uh, they have to be equal and the simply is let's assume this hi, I'm sorry, this should be ti, then ti is simply whichever comes first, which is the minimum of x and y. And if we compute this one, um, if we want to derive the ti's distribution, we simply use the memoryless property, which is uh, given ti is greater than s, and we want to compute uh, ti is greater than t plus s. This is the same thing as ti is greater than t, and this is the same thing as um, the minimum of xy 
is greater than t, and this is the same thing as x is greater than t and y is greater than t, and now we use independency. This is uh, x is greater than t and y is greater than t. Now we use the exponential distribution. The first one is uh, simply uh, e to the uh, lambda n times minus t. The second one is uh, e to the mu n times t, and this we combine. This is e to the minus mu n plus uh, lambda n times t. So this implies, and now let's uh, go back here. Uh, this is essentially this t i is greater than t, and it's this exponential distribution with rate lambda n plus mu n. So as a result, we have uh, um, derived that uh, t i is, sorry, t sub n. t sub n is uh, um, lambda n plus mu n, which means uh, the v sub n is simply equal to lambda n plus mu n, and this is a rate of leaving uh, state number n. I think I have to change uh, previous one here. And this is uh, t sub n, t sub n, and this is t sub n, and this is t sub n. So in next video, we're going to uh, learn an example of this birth and death process.